Hi, I'd like to quickly demonstrate how to create a building drain and connect branches to the various fixtures. One of the first things we're going to want to do is draw walls. So we'll select the wall option from the left toolbar. And we're just going to do a simple, small bathroom. Four walls. And we'll zoom in and get a closer look. And having drawn the four walls, I'm now ready to bring in some fixtures. So I'll go ahead and place a tub, a toilet, and a lavatory. Now I'm ready to bring in my building drain. So I'll select DWV, select the pipe size, and I'm going to start at the low end of the building drain and bring it into the building. When I release the mouse button, Quick Plum is asking me how deep or how far below the current floor level that it should place this building drain. The default value is negative 36, but I'm going to go ahead and type in negative 24. And what that represents is the distance from the floor level 0, in this case, we're at floor level 0, down to the center of the building drain at its lower point or the most downstream point. To see this more clearly I'm going to switch to the front view. Here I can see the walls, the floor, and the building drain. So now I'm going to switch back to plan view. I'm now ready to connect my fixtures. I'd like to connect my toilet first so what I'm going to do is bring the cursor over the toilet, press the left mouse button down, and drag the cursor toward the building drain and release it. Quick Plum automatically joins the pipes together as well as creates a vertical connection to the toilet. I can see this easily in the front view. So from there I'm ready to connect my bathtub. So I'm going to change the pipe size to 2 inch. I'm going to mouse down where I want to create a branch. And now I'm going to mouse down over the tub drain and drag it toward that branch and then release it. So now the only fixture that's left is the lavatory. I'm going to create a Y here at the tub drain. I can connect the lavatory to that branch by clicking on the lavatory and extending a pipe to the end of the branch. As each of these fixtures are connected, the vertical connections are made. Also, there is a vent that extends a few inches above the trap arm. You can drag that vent up into the ceiling or out through the roof. You can also offset the vent using eighth bends.
as an alternative to connecting fixtures to building drains you may hover over the fixture right click and select connect DWV at that point you simply select the pipe that you'd like to connect to I'm gonna select pipe number two and click connect and there you see the connection was made you may also connect fixtures to drains by simply placing the fixture on a drain pipe I'm going to place this kitchen sink on the end of that two inch drain pipe there you can say see that the trap arm and trap was drawn in the side view here we have the isometric view and then and then we have the 3D view I hope this helps. Have a great day.